Becky, Ted here. I have a question about masking for spraying sealer and then spraying base coat. How do I not have that sealer line? Uh, well, if you're if you're going to be spraying sealer, you're not going to be mask. You know, if you're spraying sealer on a project, you're really not going to have any tape lines. If you do, you're going to have to sand it flat, right? You're going to have to blend that feather that tape line out. So I'm not sure exactly what part of the the car you're working on where you're going to be having some spray lines or whatever. I'm not sure exactly if you could send me some pictures or give me a little bit more. I can help you out. Um, through on bottom edge of door, masked off, sand with 600 and spray two coats. Oh, you're talking about you, your buffing? Yeah, I mean, as long as you didn't get through to the base. So if you're down to the base coat, um, you might want to shoot some base over there and then spray two coats of clear on it. You know, if you feel like you can save the base, then you can just clear, clear coat it. But if you're, if you're going to be doing a, um, like a whole panel, then I would go 800 grit. 600 is a little too coarse for a flow coat. I would 800 grit it, um, and then put two coats of clear coat on that. I have a red to gold FX. It's liquid not powder how do i how do i need to use it i don't have a intercontinental clear just clear coat right now any help appreciated um i mean you just mix it in your clear coat or you can use a carrier you can use a base coat carrier or you can mix it in clear coat and then spray over whatever color base you got um, when it comes to solid color like white, black, and red, does a high-cost base paint make a big difference in the outcome? Well, oh man, it's, it's such a hard question because, you know, I've sprayed cheap base coats and expensive base coats, and as long as you use a good clear coat, you cannot tell the difference. You really can't tell the difference. There's probably you know, differences in the chemical makeup of it. They probably use a better, uh, you know, reducer or solvents in there. But like when you look at it side by side, there's no difference, you know, with a cheap base coat or an expensive one. I usually just get the medium grade. So I'm getting Shopline Plus base coat for um, the Tesla project. I'm getting three quarts of base coat, which is going to give me about a gallon and a half of sprayable material, right? Um, and that's going to be enough because there's no roof on this thing. You know, it's all glass. So it's mostly the sides of the car. The trunk is very minimal. The hatch, you know, there's not much paint that goes on that back hatch. And then the hood and the front clip. So three quarts for me is going to be enough. It's going to give me a gallon and a half of sprayable with the door jams. Plenty. You know, I should have plenty left over. But I'm going to be doing the door jams first. And based on how much I use on the door jams, I'll be able to see, oh, you know, if I have to order more base coat, I can be like, all right, I'll order another pint, which will give me a more a quart of sprayable, or maybe I'll need a, a quart. I just order another quart, you know. But um, yeah. Um, how much should I add to the clear of the red to gold first time using? Um it depends on how much clear coat, like, are you going to be mixing, are you going to be mixing um, a quart? You know, usually a couple ounces is enough if it's, um, if you're using a liquid pearl, you know, one ounce, one ounce per quart is a lot. You know, you can go two ounces per quart if you want to go a little bit more heavy. Uh, what are my top three clear coats? Well, if you want to go high end, I like anything House of Color. They got some really good clear coats. Um, Deltron PPG is a very good clear coat. And um, also the stuff that I got here, the FC uh, by Finish by Acme. This is really good clear coat. Um, uh, you know, cheap clear, you know, not it's not super cheap, but it's affordable and it's good clear. So to paint my motorcycle tank gonna be on display in store i want to do something nice and special yeah just pick out a nice color man put some pearl in it put some flake in it make it pop do a two-tone put a flame on it or something you know 
Yeah, I would start with a quarter of a teaspoon as well, you know, a few grams per quart, per quart. Uh, is flow coating important? Flow coat is basically, you know, if you just want to put, a, you know, much more clear coat on a paint job. So you could do a flow coat after your clear coat's completely dried, you know, a week after your paint job, two weeks, three weeks, a month after your paint job, you could basically just cut it down with 800 grit and put two coats of heavy clear on it. And this is more, I feel, for candy paint jobs or flake or pearl paint jobs, you know, something that you want to give it more depth. If you flow coat it, you're going to make it look a lot deeper. That paint job is going to look a lot deeper. Um, I'm not going to be worried about that on, on this Tesla because when I lay cl uh, clear coat, I lay clear coat on really thick. I put two thick coats on it and um, it's, it comes out really nice. So you guys are going to see me paint this thing in my garage here very soon in the next few weeks. It's going to be completely redone, black and another color. Fading, I don't think I want to do. Um, I, I don't know yet. I just don't want it to look corny with the fade. That's that's the only thing I'm worried about. Because I know if I don't do a fade, if I just do a straight baller color, it's going to look really tight, especially with the black, gloss black trim and some of the uh, the extra body parts that we put on it. It's going to look really, really nice. Um, and I think you guys are going to really enjoy uh, this series coming up. You guys are going to like it. You know, we're painting a, basically a brand new Tesla in a two-car garage. Uh, with this little setup here, you know, uh, it's not, it's not the location guys. You guys don't need a twenty thirty thousand dollars spray booth. You guys don't have to get so crazy about that, you know, to, to get amazing showroom finishes on, on a car and a paint job. And that's what we're going to show you exactly how to do. Documenting the whole process is going to be uploaded to VIP to learn auto body VIP. And, um, and yeah, hope you guys get amazing results by following. Oh, what would you do for clear that is peeling on a coach RV? Well, I would say number one, go get my free auto body guide at LABAP at learnautobodyandpaint.com and go get um, the RADS paint formula training and just start there because it's, it's very hard for me to tell you what to do by looking at your car. I mean, um, without looking at it, but we cover these questions in the auto body guide and more. Okay. You basically got to sand it off and repaint it. Okay. Because there's no sense of... There's no sense of clearing over. You you cannot look if you have clear coat peeling on a car, you're not going to be able to just sand some of the clear coat off and put new clear coat. Your base coat's going to get screwed. Okay, so if you got peeling on your car, it has to be repainted. Period. You're gonna either you're gonna be doing a single stage paint job, you're gonna be uh, or doing a base coat clear coat paint job. All right. So we'll talk to you guys soon. See you guys next week, same time. In the meantime, I'm going to be prepping this thing, getting it ready, hopefully spraying the door jams this weekend. That's my, my plan. It's Tuesday. I would say by Saturday.